one day you might find yourself wanting to file a negative carrier. A great tool for that is a saw vise. A bastard file. Some calipers. A pencil. A negative, that's the size you want to cut the opening to. And you just want to take your time and file, cutting forward because pulling back doesn't cut. Check every once in a while, see where you're at. Now, you might wonder why you want to file a negative carrier. I'll tell you right now, it's not a good thing technically. When you have white light coming around the edge of your negative, you introduce a great deal of flare into the print. So you do degrade the print from what it could have been had the negative carrier not been opened wider. You also end up having shiny edges that cause reflections that change the shape of the outline. Another bad thing that happens is that when you feel that you can't crop your negative because you want to show the black boundaries, you lose a lot of opportunities for negatives that might be wonderful. Maybe they're skewed. Maybe they have some distracting element that happens to be in it. And um, when you get in the habit of printing black borders, those negatives become unprintable. Another thing that you can't do when you print black borders is you can't flash. Uh, Luton's talked about flashing in a, a book called Luton's on Enlarging, which is where you take actually a flashlight and you shine it on the paper. Well, if you have a black border, that implies that you have a white border outside of it. The kind of easel you would use when you're flashing would be the kind with blades that cover and mask to the edge of your print. And then stray light on the outside wouldn't hurt anything. So throw that right out. If you're gonna do black borders, you can't flash uh, distracting elements out of your picture by printing them with a flashlight, making them completely black. It's quite often used in portraiture when a stand is in the corner of a frame that you want to just blot out completely. Another problem, Ansel Adams talks about how the edges of a frame sometimes could stand to be burned in. And that's just a visual change to make. Uh, black borders interferes with that. Because if you try to burn in the edges, you'll notice it on the boundaries and also the flare makes uh, the problem worse. So save yourself, don't print black borders, but if you do, just file carefully, take your time, work the negative carrier until you just have a tiny sliver of light around a negative, and it'll be just right. Uh, a trick I like to do, I like to cut a wild mark somewhere in the frame to kind of own 
the negative carrier and identify it for time and year. What that does is it, it leaves sort of a signature in the outline that you can tell what year you filed the negative carrier. For example, this particular negative carrier I'm filing in 2021. And any print that I make through this negative carrier is going to be a contemporary 2021 print. My vintage prints won't have the, that mark, so you could tell the difference between old and new prints that way. I'm going to keep doing this until I get the top mat lined up with the bottom one, which I've already cut to size. It's going to take some time. I won't waste your time on that.